Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Or spare thoughts are good, Bill. Sometimes it's good for these short meditations to spend the whole time spreading thoughts of goodwill. It's usually said that you start with yourself and then spread it from there to people who are dear to you and then less and less and less dear, kind of going out. That's one way to do it. The Buddha actually recommends that when people are mistreating you, you start with them, because those are the ones you're most directly involved with right now. You know, and you may want to make sure you can give rise to metta for them right now. Otherwise, it's very easy to slip and start doing and saying things that you're going to regret. And that should always be part of every practice of metta, is that you go through the people that you really, really don't like and that you have trouble feeling goodwill for. And you make a point of specifically directing goodwill to them, reminding yourself that well, what is it you're wishing? You're wishing that that person understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. And ideally, that should be something you can think for anybody. But you'll find there are parts of the mind that resist. They want the person to suffer a little bit first before they see the light. But what happens? And all too often when people suffer, they don't see the light. All they see is their own sense of being unjustly treated. It's very rare for a person to admit that, yes, I've been making a mistake and I have to change my ways, and especially when they're feeling threatened. Some people, people just get more and more defensive. So nothing much is accomplished by wishing ill on anybody, even as a lesson. It's much better to say, may all beings suddenly realize that their actions are important. The actions make the difference between happiness and misery. And there is such a thing as a skillful way of using your actions to look for happiness, and to be willing to develop that skill. So develop that for people you have trouble with, people who have wronged you, people who you've wronged. Sometimes it's very hard to feel goodwill for people you've wronged, because they remind you of the misdeeds in your own past. So try to work over these rough edges, these rough spots on the road, and then you find that metta becomes more and more automatic and becomes more and more universal. Not just universal in the sense of faceless humanity and faceless animal kingdom, but specific faces, specific, specific people. And that way it becomes goodwill that really does make a difference. It really is a protection. As I would have said, this is a form of mindfulness, something you've got to keep in mind. But when you've worked over the rough spots, then it's easier and easier, easier to, as the Buddha says, to give it a vehicle. In other words, to be able to send it anywhere you want, when you need it, as you need it, in time to make a difference.